Touching food is one of the calmest, like that, I get calm by doing that. Thinking about food, writing food, cooking food, communicating with uh, my chefs, working as a team, all of it is I, I like, you know? I'm still madly in love of, in these nine steps, right? Like sweet, salt, sour, bitter, heat, umame, right? And see it through the lens of aesthetic, texture and fragrance, right? I've worked for 25 years. I'm equally inspired today, that even more. And the minute that I'm not inspired anymore, I should be doing something. Should be doing something else, right? So, for me, it's like the connectivity to great food, and now anticipating spring, for example, I'm, I get so excited. You know what I mean? I grew up on an island, essentially, fishing village from my father's side. So, just the smell of ocean, how. Jason and I talk about seafood, right? Like crab is something I grew up with. Seared piece of fish is what we had today. I grew up on all of that and very simple. You know, our mackerel was seared and then maybe served with horseradish and potatoes and that's it, you know? So very distinct flavors, you know? I was very fortunate to have two parents, mom and dad, that I knew truly, truly, we had a lot of love in our family, right? and they were in front of me, they were next to me, they were behind me, like pushing me. And um, so that's like the biggest thing that I take from my childhood. It's really my two sisters and my parents, right? And then uh, my grandparents and to that community of, of love and guidance, you know? And I think my confidence and my structure really comes from, from um, that nurturing.